Hello, Archie, old boy. My, you're looking sad. Is there anything wrong? Yes, bruh. Everybody keeps teasing me just because I'm not like other boys. Well, now, they don't mean any harm, and you shouldn't let it bother you. But it does. You see, I come from a very sensitive tree, and trees are like people. They can feel happy, and they can even feel quite sad and lonely. Oh, and are there many trees like that? Well, there was one tree that I always remember, down in the wood where I used to grow. Quite near to me, just over the path, there was a little fir tree. There was a little fir tree, a lonely little fir tree. And in the breeze, the other tree would sigh with sympathy. Why was he sad and lonely? There was one reason only. Because he thought he was too short to be a Christmas tree. Then they cut him down for a house in town. And somebody dressed him in a tinsel gown. The candles gleamed, and he thought he dreamed to hear the kiddies shout with glee. Oh, look! A Christmas tree! Then with the star they crowned him. The kiddies danced around him. A Christmas tree! At last was he, the happy little fir tree. Oh, that's sweet, Archie. Do you like it, Brown? Yeah. Well, sing it. Come on. All right. Then they cut him down for a house in town. That's right. Somebody dressed him in a tinsel gown. He looked pretty. The candles gleam. And he thought he dreamed to hear those kiddies shout with glee. Oh, look! A Christmas tree! Then with a star they crowned him. The kiddies danced around him. A Christmas tree, at last was he, the happy little fir tree. And so, Brock, you tell everybody to be very kind and gentle to their Christmas trees, please, because you never know, it might be a friend of mine. <laughs>